Welcome to NG Classes YouTube channel. In this video, we'll consider yet another important property of uh, DFT. This time, I would call it as a circular frequency shift of DFT, or it is also known as multiplication by an exponential in time domain. To solve numericals, the result of this property is very important. So, if I want to define it, I would uh, define it in this way: if if DFT of x of n can be written as x of k then then dft of wn to the power i said it is dft of wn to the power minus l into n x of n is equal to x of k minus l so this is the definition of circular uh, shift, uh, circular frequency shift of uh, DFT, and it is also known as multiplication by an exponential in time domain. Why? Because if you look here, x of n, the signal is in time domain. Here I am multiplying this signal with w n to the power minus l n. So hence, this is uh, I am multiplying the signal with exponential. Uh, this is what it is and it is also known as circular frequency shift why because x of k is the frequency domain signal and the shift in that signal is x of k minus l hence it is also known as circular frequency shift so to prove this uh, let me begin the proof uh, i should consider the expression for x of k x of k is nothing but the uh, dft which is equal to summation n equal to 0 to n minus 1 x of n wn to the power k into n so this is the definition for dft wherein k varies from 0 to n minus 1 is it correct so now in this expression what i do is i'll replace i will replace every k with I will replace every k with k minus l. What could be the reason? Because if you look at the definition of uh, circular frequency shift, I want x of k minus l. But what I have, it's only x of k. So how do I get that? Uh, simple. In terms, uh, replace every k with k minus l so that I would get x of k minus l. So if I do that, I'm going to get x of k minus l. Is it correct? Which is equal to summation n equal to 0 to n minus 1 so now it is x of n as it is uh, here I have w n to the power k into n so k has been replaced with k minus l into small n is it correct so just try to rearrange it by multiplying uh, the w term uh, w, uh, summation n equal to 0 to n minus 1 x of n so now I would write a wn to the power minus ln into wn to the power k into n. I just have multiplied the terms and I have arranged it in this way and I put the bracket over here. So just try to understand what this is. Uh, to understand that consider this expression. What is this? It is the dft of uh, x of n. So here I have x of n. It is the DFT of x of n which is equal to x of k. So now compare these two expressions. There is uh, a summation. There is also a summation uh, with the same limits of course. And wn to the power kn is there. Here also wn to the power kn. So in place of here it is x of n. In place of x of n. So now I have x of n into wn to the power minus l. Minus l into n. Hence it must be. Uh, that must be the DFT of uh, this point. Is, is that correct? Hence I would say that this is equal to DFT of x of n wn to the power minus ln which is equal to what? x of k minus l. But if you look I want two parentheses here and uh, there is only one parenthesis. What is the difference between these two? Whenever I put two parentheses it is, the, it is nothing but frequency shift is circular in nature. In digital signal processing, we are going to get uh, circular. Whatever the time shift, frequency shift, all are in uh, circular. Is it correct? So, but 
uh, how do I replace this uh, single parenthesis with double parenthesis? So if I know the concept, so simply what I write is since the shift is circular, since the frequency shift, since the frequency shift is circular. So as it is circular in nature, I could write this as x of double parenthesis k minus l. That's it. That can easily be written. So equal to what? That is nothing but dft of, so I said it is dft of the inner terms which is equal to w n to the power minus l into n x of n. So this is the proof. So ultimately we can write uh, what we are looking is the result which says dft of w n to the power minus l into n x of n equal to x of k minus l. So this is what uh, we were looking for. Hence the proof. I hope you people have understood. If there are any doubts, please let me know in the comment section. I would def definitely uh, answer them. And uh, meanwhile, don't get confused between a circular time shift and circular frequency shift. So it's it's uh, very important. Uh, if the time shift is circular, it is represented as x of n minus m. The circularly time shifted signal is represented as x of n minus m. And the circular frequency shifted signal is represented as x of k minus l. So this is important uh, to solve the numericals. Hope you people have understood. Uh, thanks for watching.